C4. This workout is powered by C4. Now today's video, I'm going to talk about what pre-workout is and what are the supplements that are in the pre-workout that give you that boost to crush a workout. And if you're looking to build muscle and you want to lift heavier and you need to wake yourself up, then pre-workout is probably that supplement for you. But it's not for everybody. So in today's video, I'm gonna go through the details of what each key ingredients are in pre-workout and how this can apply to you and who should be taking it. Now, I love pre-workout, but the main ingredient in pre-workout is caffeine. Now, if any of us went out there and we had like three espresso shots, we're gonna be flying no matter what. So my biggest fear when it comes to taking pre-workout is that your caffeine intake is going to spike through the roof. So it is a caffeinated pre-workout and that is probably one of the main ingredients in there because it's a powdered form of caffeine, not like a big cup of caffeine, which is hard to drink that much. So if you're already a caffeine drinker, you might not feel the same effects as somebody that isn't taking as much coffee as you, but there is other ingredients in it that are gonna help with your muscles to be able to lift heavier and to last longer in a workout. So the first and one of the most main ingredients when it comes to pre-workout is the L-citrulline. Now what it does is it increases the nitrous oxide, which is increasing the amount of blood flow to the working muscles. So the more blood and the more nutrients that get pumped into the muscles while you're working out, the more it's gonna be able to lift, the faster it's gonna be able to recover. And guess what? You lift heavier, you do it long enough, guess what happens? Is that you start to put on new muscle. The second one is what's called beta alanine. Now today I gave a girl pre-workout for the very first time. Now she's already a big time co coffee drinker, so I told her not to have a coffee prior. And she did feel the pre-workout, but she felt the beta alanine. Now beta alanine is, it stimulates your nerves and a lot of time people get the itchies. Some people feel it, but some people don't. But when you do feel that, you know that that beta alanine is working and beta alanine helps to remove what's called lactic acid. So lactic acid is a metabolic waste product that your body produces whenever you do like a lift. So your muscles turn your calories into energy that gets used when you work out. And it's just like your car. You put gasoline in your car, you use your car, what comes out the tailpipe, right? And so that's lactic acid. Now what this beta alanine does, it helps your muscles to clear out that lactic acid faster. So if you don't feel that burn where you have to stop and you're able to bang out two or three more reps with heavier weights, guess what ends up happening? you're able to recover faster from the lift, you're able to lift heavier, you're able to do it longer, and you're able to gain more muscle. Now, another ingredient that you'll find in a lot of these pre-workouts is taurine. And what taurine does, it actually helps to protect the muscles against excessive damage and inflammation. When you work out, you're going to have natural damage because when you work out, you're basically breaking down tissue, which then stimulates a small or large inflammatory process. So when you're really, really sore and you feel like your legs are on fire or you feel like your legs, legs are throbbing, that's an inflammatory response to training hard. Now, obviously you don't want too much of that where you can't walk the next day, but we gotta understand that this supplement called taurine is gonna help to prevent the muscles from getting broken down too, too much. And it's also gonna help to keep that inflammatory process lower so that your body isn't just focusing on inflammation, it's focused on rebuilding, recovery, and repair. And like I mentioned is that caffeine is one of the big ingredients in any pre-workout. They do have some that don't have the stimulant, meaning the caffeine in them. I find they're just not as good right? Like when you take a pre-workout, you want to feel energized. And mostly the energization is coming from the caffeine. Now you can take a non-stimulant pre-workout and it'll have all those other ingredients. So you'll just have to know that it's working without you actually feeling it. But if you want to feel the rush from a taking a pre-workout, then you'll want the ones that have the caffeine in it. Now there are ones that have extreme amounts of caffeine and I don't recommend that because how much caffeine do you actually need? If you're not feeling these pre-workouts and you're not feeling the rush from them, then I would suggest for you just to not even use the ones that have the caffeine in them. 
or just take a smaller dose so that you're getting the benefits from all the other ingredients in there, such as the citrulline, the beta alanine, the taurine, and then the caffeine is the one that's gonna give you the boost. And last but not least, the one that we're recommending right now, which is available at Fit Club, is the C4 Ultimate. And I've done some research on a lot of the old pre-workouts that we used to use. And a lot of the pre-workouts actually removed creatine from their pre-workouts, which made me wonder why. And so I asked a couple of my suppliers, like, why did they start removing the creatine from a lot of these pre-workouts? And they're saying it's more to do with cost effectiveness. <laughs> Caffeine is cheap to make. Creatine is difficult and expensive to make. And so what they're doing now is they're adding more caffeine so that you feel more of a pump and you feel like you're getting more gains, which it will because if you're working harder and you're working longer and you're, you're recovering faster between exercises, then yeah, you're gonna naturally get more muscle. But as I've mentioned a couple videos ago, creatine is one of those supplements that increase the stored energy in your muscles so that you can then put out more strength, lift a little bit heavier, and do a little bit more for longer. And so as such, when it comes to this and you're focusing on muscle, you do wanna have creatine. So you won't have to go and buy an extra creatine because this C4 has about three to four grams of it already in it, and that's what I'd recommend for you on a daily basis anyways. So there we have it guys, pre-workout. I like the C4 Ultimate right now. It's one of the most complete supplements out there that I've seen when it comes to a pre-workout. And so if you wanna start taking it, you wanna take it slowly, okay? So you wanna start with just a half a scoop. Now the recommended dosage is a full scoop, but I'm finding that a full scoop is way too much. I would start you off at 150 milligrams to 200 milligrams max per serving and do that for three weeks at a time. Then you can scale it up to a full scoop, which is anywhere from 300 to 400 milligrams of caffeine. And I would do that for another three weeks, but I'd put a week break in between. So three weeks on of half scoop, take a week off, which is gonna suck. So you're gonna probably need more caffeine to get yourself energized just to let your sensories calm down and just like bring it down so it becomes more effective. Then ramp up to a full scoop. Try to avoid it on an empty stomach. A lot of people kind of get dizzy off of it, but it might not affect you at all. And then just take it about 20 to 30 minutes prior to your workout. It will last an hour to an hour and a half. So don't worry about taking it right before you jump in. As long as you take it about 15 to 20 minutes prior, you get a good warm up. your body's gonna metabolize it and it's gonna give you that boost that you're looking for. So guys, if you watch this video to the end and if you're looking to take C4 or any types of pre-work, I hope this video has helped you and created clarity for you. So if it did, share this video onto your Facebook page because some of your friends might be looking to put on muscle or to get that energy boost that they need throughout their day. And if you know anybody or if you're looking to get started with myself and my team virtually or in-person training, go to our website, www.fitclub.fit.